Hi, in this video, you will learn how to easily create awesome graphic designs in PowerPoint. The beautiful graphic designs you will learn to create today look like this. This is one of the graphic designs you will learn to create and you can use this to create impressive title slides that look like this. As you can see here, this is the same graphic that we created here. We just changed the outline color and then pasted it like this. Once you learn how to create this basic graphic, you would be able to create variations like this, different graphics like this, and even logos like this or this. And all these can be done with just a couple of clicks. You just need to have one basic design and all these are variations of the same design. And even if you want to create diagrams, you can create something like this, which is a beautiful target diagram, which is once again created using the same design. And you can even create the top view of a pyramid diagram. Yes, all these graphics were all created from just one simple graphic that too created beautifully using the technique called control shift drag. I'll show you how to create all those beautiful graphic variations by starting to create this simple graphic from scratch. Here we are on a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the oval tool from Basic Shapes, and I'm going to hold the shift button down as I draw a circle. Go to Shape Fill, say No Fill, go to Shape Outline, increase the weight to say around three points, and change the color to black. Now we have got our basic graphic in place. Now we are going to make copies of this. So I'm going to press Ctrl D. Ctrl D is the shortcut for duplicate and I'm going to place this exactly right on top of the earlier graphic. And that is very important. And once we have that done, now we have got two rings, one on top of the other. Now we want to have nine more. So totally we have 11 rings of the same size and shape. So I'm going to press Ctrl D once, twice, thrice, four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight times, nine times. Even though this looks like one ring, there are actually 11 rings all arranged one on top of the other. Now let us see the power of Ctrl Shift Drag. I'm going to hold the control button down and shift button down as I select this and drag from the corner to create my first copy. Then I'm going to select this again, control shift, drag, and then you create the next one. Can you see how easy it is? Control shift and then drag. You keep doing that till the time all the circles are done and you create a series of these concentric circles by pressing Ctrl, Shift, Drag. Now, what we have is a series of concentric circles, and this is the base graphic that is required for us to create all the variations. So I'm going to make a duplicate of this slide by going here and then saying duplicate slide. Now, let me select all these circles, go to format, go to edit shape, go to change shape, and you can use one of these stars as the changed shape. So click on star 24 points and you have a beautiful graphic in place. Now, if you want, you can always select this, change the shape outline to say something like this red color and then right click cut and then right click and paste as picture. Now, since this is a picture, we can easily crop it. So let us go to format, go to the crop option and then let us crop it in such a way that we only take one quarter of this image. So I'm going to just take this way and we only have one quarter and I'm going to keep it here in the bottom left corner. And then I'm going to make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D. And then let me go to Home, Arrange, Rotate and say Flip Horizontal and then go to arrange, rotate and say flip vertical and then place it so that it touches the top right corner. Now all you need to do is to have a couple of lines here and then write your title and name of the presenter like this. Now you have a beautiful title slide ready. Easy, isn't it? 
Now let us go back to the original slide, make a duplicate. So let us go to the duplicate slide and then move it here. Now we are going to work with this. Now let us continue with the same idea. Let us select all these circles, go to the format tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to edit shape, change shape, and let us choose this time star 32 points under stars and banners. And this is how the graphic is. Now this is a different star compared to the one that we had done earlier with 24 points and I'm going to show you how to color the outline of these stars with different colors. So for that I'm going to go to the home tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to the select option and go to the selection pane here and you can see that we have got all the various uh, stars here beautifully lined up. So what we need to do is to just hide all the alternative stars and now only these stars are remaining so I'm going to select all of them and then let us give it a different color maybe something like this red color now let us go to hide all and let us open up the other set of stars like this and let us color them differently maybe something like this light gray color and then let us say show all and you have another beautiful logo design isn't that awesome now let us go back to the original slide let us create a duplicate slide and then let us try and create some variations here i'm going to select all these circles go to format go to edit shape go to change shape and this time i'm going to choose a very different auto shape and the one that i'm going to choose is here under block arrows and let us select this and you can see that we have a beautiful design here if you want to show four different outcomes from a central action, you can use this beautiful graphic. Now, let me show you another interesting trick. Like the way we did earlier, we are going to choose only the alternative uh, stars here and only these are left. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these and I'm going to give a shape fill. Let us say something like this red color. Now I'm going to go to the hide all option and for the first one and the alternative ones like this, I'm going to choose a different kind of a shape fill. So I'm going to select all these and go to shape fill and say white colored fill. And let us say show all. And you can see that we have a very different pattern. Now I'm going to select all this and say shape outline and no outline. And now you have another beautiful logo design. Now let me make a duplicate of this and let us change the shape now. Let us go to format, go to edit shape and change shape. And this time let us choose this one under block arrows called arrow quad. And here you have another very interesting pattern. Now let us duplicate this. And if you want to create a target diagram, all we need to do is to select all of these, go to format, go to edit shape, go to change shape. And then under flowchart, you have this one called as flowchart R. So select that and we have a beautiful target graphic. If you want the crosshairs, you can select all this, go to shape outline and give it an outline like this and you have the crosshairs available. Now let us make a duplicate of this and let us select all this, go to format, go to edit shape, change shape. And this time I'm going to choose this option under basic shapes called rectangle beveled and you get a top view of a pyramid graphic. As you can see here, these are the darker sides and this is the brighter side and you have a top view of a pyramid diagram. So can you see, once you create a simple concentric circles graphic like this, that to using one simple operation of control shift drag, you're able to create beautiful variations that are useful like your title slide, like your logos, like your target diagram, your pyramid diagram, etc. All these are possible with just change shape option. That is why we firmly believe that if you really need to master PowerPoint, you can't just be familiar with the tools in PowerPoint. You need a resource that helps you to think creatively with PowerPoint. And that is what we aim to do at presentationprocess.com. If you go to PowerPoint training courses tab, you would be able to see a list of courses that are all aimed at helping you to explore PowerPoint creatively. There are a whole bunch of beautiful training programs available here and each one of them is comprehensive in itself. And all these programs help you to learn PowerPoint creatively. 
And if you want one all access pass for all the programs that we have listed, then you can join our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program, which is a monthly membership. You can click here and find more details about Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. I'll also leave a link to the program in the description box below the video. So please click on the link and find more about how Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program can make your PowerPoint presentations more creative and results driven. And finally, if you want to receive exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share only with my email subscribers, please join our newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. You will be the first to hear about any new product we introduce. You will get the first access to our free giveaways and you will get access to our free email courses which we release from time to time. And more importantly, we provide product offers and discounts only to our email subscribers. So if you want to take your PowerPoint to the next level, please join our Success by PowerPoint newsletter by clicking on the link here. I'll see you inside. Thank you very much.